Hi, I'm John Hartman from Durango Silver Company, and today I'm going to show you how to size a ring with a stone in the ring. So we're going to size a silver ring with, today is a turquoise stone already set in it, and my stone is glued in it, so I'm going, we're going to size it that way. Okay, so here's the ring we're going to size today. It's a nice turquoise ring has a nice shank and it's beaded on the bottom, see? So we're gonna have to be very careful about that. All right, so what we're gonna do first, we want it to be a size nine. It's been sold as a size nine. And I, and I put it on the mandrel and I see, okay, what is the actual size of this? So I'm gonna take my mallet and I love these uh, mallets from Rio, they're great better than a rawhide mallet for me. Okay, and I'm gonna round that up, make sure it's nice and round. It comes to 10 and three quarters, okay? So it's right up to 10 and three quarters. So we need to cut off, uh, we need to cut out a one and three quarters, size one and three quarter out of this ring. And um, we're gonna use a ring cutter, which I highly recommend, it's a great tool if not, I'll try to get with you a little bit later about how much for what size. Um, we'll try to add it to, to our uh, end of the video, okay? Okay, so this is what I cut my ring shanks with. This is a classic ring sh shank sizer here, and it comes with different sizes already pre-made. This is a very uh, inexpensive tool for what it does, like $180 or something like that. So we take this, I sized, had sized another ring, take that out, put this one in here like this, and then it falls into place and then tighten this. Tight, pretty darn tight. Okay, in this case, I'm gonna cut one of these beads out of here, okay? And so I'm gonna really carefully watch where I'm putting that in this ring sizer. I'm gonna come down on it and I'm gonna to check to make sure I'm right where I wanna be. Okay, and then I pull the handle and it's cut a chunk out of there. And it's almost perfect. I'm cutting a little, one bead a little short, but I'll, I'll dremel that so it looks good enough. But they want it the size they want it, so we have to do what we have to do. Okay, so now I'm going to bend this with my half round and flat pliers. And, I and for this process, I like a pretty good size pair of uh, pliers. They make them in uh, real skinny to, to, to fat, half round to, to flat. And I'm gonna be very careful. I'm gonna bend that shank together so they fit real nice. And I don't wanna mar the shank in any way with my pliers. So I'm holding them not too tight. Uh, just right, and then now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it exactly, to fit together exactly square, so the, so the, the shank is uh, uh, straight across right in there, okay? Now, we have just a little bit of a gap left here, and, it, and, and it's a little bit, of, little bit unsquare because the, the, the cutter is not perfect, so I'm gonna make it perfect, and I'm gonna use my saw. And so I take it in my, on my bench pin and I saw it straight. I hold it together and I come through it with the saw. And that is as straight as it is gonna get. Okay. Now it fits together absolutely perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to go back with my pliers and I'm gonna Pull it together a little bit more so it, so it tightens it up. So it's real, comes together really nice and tight. Okay. And now I'm going to use my soft, my, my uh, soft solder. And um, this is 70% silver. The, and I went over that in other videos. You can get 70% silver. Uh, solder at Rio Grande. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flatten this. And I flatten this wire, nice and flat. And then from there, I'm 
going to use some nips and I'm going to cut off a piece wider than that shank. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to put this shank back on the mandrel and I'm going to spread the shank apart just a wee little bit. And then I'm going to look in for my tweezers, which I've been doing other things and I can't find them. So now I'm going to put this solder in there, right in that gap there. Okay. Then I'm going to back it off the mandrel and the solder is in place. Can you see that? Okay. Now I'm going to use, get my, soldering pad level there. I got a cute little skillet you can get on Amazon, just a tiny little skillet, cast iron skillet. And I got tweezers and there's, there's all types of tweezers that you can get to do this. You don't have to have my exact setup, but, and I'm just gonna put the stone in the water. I'm gonna get the water so it just comes over the top of the bezel, right like that. So I'm not gonna fry my stone, okay? Okay, so now we're ready to solder, okay? Um, I'm using uh, Batterns self pickling lead flux and I'm putting plenty of flux on here. I'm using a mini oxygen settling torch and this is what you need to solder this way. You need this. And once you start using this torch, you'll be glad you bought one, okay? Okay, so. Here we go. Okay, when you're uh, using your torch, you want pretty good, pretty good heat. So you need to hear that noise. Okay. You want you want a, a, a real sharp flame, and you want it real hot. So you want to get on this thing and get back off. Okay. And you got with silver, you got to have you. You got this in water down here, so it's cooling all the silver. So you got to have it real hot and you got to really watch yourself here because you'll burn. You can easily burn this. Okay, so I heated it up, put more flux on. Now I'm going to go after it. So we'll be real careful. If you get it hot on both sides, I'm going to watch it real careful. There it goes. There it goes. See? Real easy. Now I'm going to get it down here a little bit. There it goes. So it went through it now. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. So what I did here, it's cold. You know, I can touch it. You know, even before it got in the water. This being in the water will cool this down. And you should know this, uh, between silver and gold. Gold, you can have this whole thing in the water and just heat this thing up, no sweat. And this can be cold right by the water. It'll heat up right there. But silver wants to have everything heat up, the whole, all the whole silver piece heat up before you can uh, 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 solder. A solder will, it'll solder. Um, so that's why we use the mini torch with oxygen because you get a real hot flame. But you gotta be real careful because it's really hot and you can burn your metal. You can go through it real quick. So I advise you to take some some uh, when you first get your torch and you set up, take some like six gauge half round wire or something like that, or different thicknesses of wire uh, that your ring shanks would be and practice a little bit, just practice. But that's how it's done. It's done with stone in soldering uh, is done with a mini torch with oxygen and settling. Okay, so looking at this, uh, what I'm going to do here now is is just standard procedure. I'm going to take my saw right here and saw this down, and then I'm going to file these raindrops, uh, uh, file and use my Dremel with a real fine Dremel bit and round these out real good, pickle it, and then I have a texture uh, tool here, air texture tool, and it's a Chicago, and uh, uh, you can get them on uh, eBay and uh, Amazon. And uh, uh, they're about uh, $200, 250 they're air. Uh, and uh, they need 120 pounds of pressure to work. 
uh, uh, and then I just and then I'm just gonna pickle the bottom end of it and polish it so there you go um, I thank you very much for your response in my videos it's been great and I'm so happy to be able to teach you things that are just not taught elsewhere um, they're my my things that I've learned over a 40 some year uh, uh, occupation of being a silver and goldsmith and uh, uh, thank you for uh, being patrons of Durango Silver and uh, hope you have a great day.